to love him, to serve him, and to be with him forever in the next. Indeed, to be with the Lord is our greatest joy. Mark chapter 6, verse 36. What shall be profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul? So our mother was nourished in the body of Christ. She was baptized. Remember in John chapter 3, Jesus says, unless one is born of water and spirit, he or she cannot enter the kingdom of God. Our mother was baptized in the Lord. She received the body and blood of Christ. As St. Paul will say in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, it is no longer I who live, but Christ living in me. Praise the Lord. So we know that anyone who dies in Christ will definitely behold the face of God. Indeed, there is heaven. And our faith teaches us that those who die in the Lord will behold God face to face in his kingdom. As I said, that death is not the end of our relationship with God. It requires to be based on our requirements, criteria. One of them is holiness, holiness of life. Holiness of life in Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Jesus says, Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. The psalm is in Psalm 24, verses 3 to 4. Who shall find the mouth of the Lord? Who shall stand in his living place? The man with clean hands and pure heart. Such a blessing they climb the mountain of the Lord. Because without holiness, indeed, no eyes shall see God. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Another thing is charity. Our mother was a charitable woman. Each time I come to the house, when they were in the middle town, so to speak, she would package everything. So that thing is you know. And you can see that love that she has for the church. And that is why Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus gives us the expo on how to make heaven. And that is why I can stand here and say, yes, I am Christ in heaven because to what Jesus says, the criteria. What I may call the, I call it a common entrance question. Matthew 25 verse 40. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, when I was thirsty, when I was naked, when I was a stranger, I was in prison, did you come to my age? And if you say yes, I did all of those. Say come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom. Prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I don't want to speak much. There are three reasons why we are here to do what we have to do. Three reasons. First, is to pray for the soul of our mother. That whatever sins she may have committed, that God will pardon her her sins and grant her a place in this kingdom. I know that some of us who may be here who are not Catholics, we begin to ask, why do Catholics, why do you pray for the dead? Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, it is applicable to one and to the other one, some of others, judgment, you know. That passage of the scripture did not say we are going to pray for the dead. No. And that is why the church tell us that what we call mortal sin and venial sins. Even in Matthew chapter 12, verse 32. Now Jesus made a statement in Matthew chapter 12, verse 32. I'm saying all of this for those who are not Catholics who do not believe in why we pray for the dead of Catholics. Jesus says, when you sin against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven. But when you sin against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven. Neither in this world, nor in the world to come. What is the logic there? That there are sins that are forgiven even in the world to come. And that is what John tells us. John, 1 John chapter 5, verse 17. He said, All wrong things you say, for there are sins that do not lead to death. Praise the Lord. And that is why we pray for the dead. Even when you read the second Timothy, Psalm 130, verse 3. He says that if the Lord should mark our guilt, nobody will survive. That is the responsible Psalm. If the Lord should come up now and begin to scam all of us here, you come and scam us one after the other. Nobody, including myself, will not stand before the Lord. 
The love of God is eternal. The love of God is eternal. And so we continue to pray for the dead. And that is why we have gathered here today to pray for the soul of our mother, Mrs. Rosalind Conway. That whatever sin she may have committed while she was on earth, that God will pardon her and grant her a place in his kingdom through Christ our Lord. The second reason why we are here is to console the family that our mother has been behind. All of us are chief owners. You know, God needs to see ourselves as family. I hope you know that. Family of St. Joseph, we see ourselves as family. Once one person is buried, all of us are buried, we are not chief owners. When someone dies, there is a value that is created. Even if someone should die, they cry like beggars. How do beggars cry? They cry like those who have no hope. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. St. Paul says that we are not to cry like those who have no hope of the resurrection. So what gathers us together today, what keeps us alive to gather us in the Christian community is the cause of that resurrection. If Jesus has died and I'm not with him, I don't say we have gathered here. Our gathering will have been in vain. It is the resurrection that is our faith. So we rejoice with those who rejoice and among with those who mourn. So we are here to console ourselves and to console the immediate family. Then the third reason why we are here is to remind us of unprepared death. We are not praying for sudden death. We are not praying for premature death. Every one of us is praying that we get to that old age. I mean, we get to that old age. And then people will gather for us and celebrate us. What we are having today is the same celebration of life. I know it will be painful, but our mother lived 84 years before the Lord. 84 years before the Lord. We pray that God Almighty will continue to strengthen all of us and bless his word in our hearts through Christ our Lord. As we gather in the presence of God our Father, who raised his son Jesus Christ from the dead, let us pray that he may give comfort to the living and eternal rest to those who have died.
as we say, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless you. for our private intentions. God of mercy, grant pardon and eternal grace to your servant, Rose Ugochuku Omoboya, whom you have come from this life. Give consolation to those who mourn and be we who are still on our earthly journey, always seeking to please you. Through Christ our Lord. Give us 
eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and they are going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. For though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good. Because God tested them and found them worthy of Himself. Like gold in the furnace, He tried them. And like a sacrificial old offering, He accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the storm. They will govern nations and rule over peoples. And the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in Him will understand the truth, and the faithful will abide with Him and in love, because grace and mercy are upon us in the earth. This is the word
At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. But where I am, you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me.
Let us also ask our mother Mary to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary.
Appreciated and welcome all the Reverend Fathers. Oh, when I see you, Allah. Father, good day. The parish priests want to thank you and see you, Uncle Aloha. You have done my work. I appreciate all the Reverend Fathers that are here. Father, good day has been so supportive. He has been so supportive of my work. I will be very brief because of time constraint. We want to appreciate all of you that are here. We want to, in a very special way, though Father Abude has done that, because I have the mandate of my brother and the family to say that to you, appreciate, welcome, and thank God for the life of our son, of our father, of a man the world is proud of, Africa is proud of, Nigeria is proud of, Delta State is proud of, and Apple in particular we are proud of. I'm talking of another person than Lady Dr. Jim Obia. It's also the name of him. Richard Warren. We also have in our midst, before I call our appreciate other dignities that are here, our daddy, our father has been a mentor 
to my brother for a period of over 30 years. Please, can we thank him for that? I'm talking of Joseph Ongo. Thank you, Mike Mike. Give him my applause, Mike Mike. Also, I want to appreciate my classmate and friend. He's laughing at me, and uh, we know the Chief Executive Officer of Zenit, Dr. Melissa Nyango. Also, in our midst, we have the Honorable Commissioner for Energy, Jerry Ewaro, the very wonderful son, the man of the people, and see Ewa. And of course, the son of my village, one of us, vibrant and a man who has been creating a lot of uh, waste in the political industry. I'm talking of Honorable Festus Chuki Moko is right here. But I see Aloha, Iyogo. There are so many beauties that are here. Time is not permit me to mention all of them. But I want to say you are all recognized and welcome. Thank you, church. I saw Karana Numa. God will to bless and uplift you. They cannot support your prayers. You have been using to support my daddy here and our mama. God will reward you adequately. Immediately after the service, we will be having the internet at 92, number 92, Erebo Street. I want to create the indulgence of all of us here present. That internet is purely private. Project also. They are supporting this church with the sum of two million naira. Two million naira. I saw Karima Numa. Thank you very much for the good work you are doing. Thank you all once again. We appreciate you all. If I was not able to mention and even recognize you, please accept my inadequacies. May God continue to bless and keep all of us through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus.